Mm. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard! Von Borchard! Hmm? Listen! Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. For God's sake, Louis, I told you to let me do it. Let me see. <sighs> you know, I was in control of the situation, Mother. Oh, tell that to your nose. <gasps> it's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. You ought to learn to trust me, Mother. Can't you be happy for once? I finally... We finally cracked the Von Borchard case? He was just a middleman. He would have been more useful alive. <sighs> How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. You're much more important than you can ever imagine. Right, let's go now.
Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait.